If you love vibe coding, you don't want to miss this. You know Product Hunt, this boring site from 1996 that looks like Craigslist? We just redid it with a TikTok twist, but not just the front end. This has a built-in back end with users, with login authentication, with all of the different products, the whole schema, storage, everything in the modern world with a TikTok twist. Let's do it. And let's recreate Product Hunt using Base44. So that is going to be my choice today. And uh, let's jump right into it. What's great about Base44 is it doesn't just do the front end. It actually has a full back end where you could do everything all in one place web-based. You don't have to go to external services like Superbase or AWS, all that good stuff. So let's just start talking to it. I want to recreate ProductHunt.com, but I want to do it with a twist, period. First, let's start with the front end of all of the different features. I'm going to include the screenshot for you, period. But I want it to be much more TikTok than Craigslist. Craigslist. All right, perfect. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take a screenshot. So let's go to Product Hunt. Oof. Every time I look at this site, I'm just kind of blown away that this site. But I guess if it works, it works. But the beauty of vibe coding is now we can uh, create our own. So let me just grab that screenshot really quick. Let's go here. Here's the screenshot. And we're going to hit go. So what's cool about Base44 is the first thing it's going to do is it's going to make a game plan. So it's going to lay out the whole thing. It's going to lay out all the different steps. And then I'm going to show you how to set up all of the different integrations where Base44 is going to actually have control over all of your functions. So all the edge functions that it creates and also agent mode. So you have to enable this inside of your product. So let's see what it says. So I'll create a TikTok style product hunt with full screen immersive vertical feed experience. Love it. Large visuals, product submission, design language, perfect. And then app structure, product, comment, upvote, all the great features of Product Hunt. Product Hunt is was created originally for developers. I feel like there is not anything for vibe coders. So I figured why not try doing it? And if people like this video, maybe I'll actually launch this as a real product. So definitely let me know in the comment section. But mainly I wanna show you the power of Vibe Coding and Base44 because it is very powerful of what it can do. I've used many tools, probably over 50 tools at this point, and I've been using this recently because it can do quite a lot. Front end, back end, auth, um, storage, everything can be done inside of it all in one place, which is very rare. There's obviously other tools that can do this, but I feel like this one is so streamlined that you can really get a lot done very quickly. And if you guys like Vibe Coding and uh, do a little selfless plug, uh, we have a community called AI Builders in here. We have 552 members, all building, all vibe coding. There's lots of projects being launched every single day. We got some heavy hitters from the industry here, lots of top AI builders. And uh, we have classrooms around vibe coding. We have React Native, backend, cross-platform development for mobile and everything else. We do a bunch of giveaways. We just gave away 500 bucks for the first person to actually create a uh, mobile application. Which, uh, which Adam just did, which was a huge success. So if you guys do want to join a community, I built it for myself, and now it's blown and ballooned into this amazing place where we are all creating. My favorite part of vibe coding is that anybody really now that can just speak English, actually you probably don't even have to speak English, can do this. You know, you can really just jump into these tools and they're just getting so good. The LLMs are getting so good. Damn, that was quick. All right, launch vibe. We got the feed, we got discover, we got submit, we got profiles. So let's actually see no products yet. But here's the cool part. When you come in here, you could actually switch over. You could switch over to dashboard. And this is where the magic happens of base 44. You have users built in. You have your data layer, product, common, upvote. Everything is already connected. You also have built in analytics inside of base 44. We, I've actually never seen this part on any. You could also buy a domain. So right now we're just going to use the, the base 44 domain. They also have a security feature where you could go in and start your security check. And also you could put all your data in title. So product, comment, and upvote. You could set up all your different rules. And then you have your code base, like most of the ones you've seen. You also have agent mode. This is actually really dope. So you can actually set up an agent to then build out your infrastructure and also set up chatbots, all that good stuff. You got logs, you have your API, and then you have your app settings, you have authentication built right into Base44, and then you have your secrets. So once we're adding, let's say, a OpenAI API key or something like that, we would put that in here. 
And but again, as you can see, this is all built into it directly and you don't have to go to external services. So very powerful. All right, let's go see what this thing built. So let me zoom out really quick. So we got our launch vibe, discover the next big thing, scroll through the most innovative products launching today, swipe, upvote, and find the next favorite tool. So of course we don't have any tools. So if we go to the feed, there's nothing. We go to discover, we have categories, but nothing yet. We can go to submit. So before we do submit, what I wanna do is I want to create a bunch of placeholders. Can you go in and create 10 placeholder projects with all the information that we could use inside of our discover, inside of our feed, inside of our profiles. Perfect. So what this is gonna do is this is going to create 10 working projects, right? So I don't have to go in and upload them for you. So this is just a quick little trick when you guys are building out your platform to just create placeholder data. And But the great thing is this isn't gonna be front um, web placeholder. This is actually gonna be in the back end. So inside of our data, it's going to actually add all of the records for our products, our comments, our upvotes, everything. So it's gonna use our back end for this. And hope you guys are enjoying this. It's Friday night, just having fun. And uh, this is the style, you know, just vibing out proper vibe coding session here. But uh, I do like sharing new tools that are actually doing something in the industry that I feel is very unique and provide a lot of insight for beginners. This is definitely a beginner-friendly tool to get you started and actually build really good SaaS apps. But if you're a full-stack dev and you know what the hell's going on, if you're watching this video, you know this is very powerful. There's a lot of stuff happening here that a mid-level developer would have to go in and actually hard code into your actual application with the back end and all of your queries and everything like that. All right, and just like that, we have our feed. Look at this. Sexy. <laughs> so what's better, this or this? You could see where I'm going with this, right? So now we have all our categories. So we have new, we have featured. Then if we go to discover, now we have our different categories. So look, AI, productivity, design, development tools. Think about the context of me just literally saying, create 10 placeholders, and it was smart enough to put all the correct tags so I could use this feature. As you can see, it matches up. Marketing, we got gaming, finance, development tools. Look at that right there. And then here's the best part. If I click into it, it already built this for us. This was done in a few freaking prompts. This is really crazy actually. And look at the beautiful UI that it created. We have our profiles already. We got 10 products. I'm the obviously the admin. Okay, so here's the great thing. When you're building in base 44, obviously I said, hey, can you make placeholder 10 products? But it didn't just create it on the front end and render it on the website. It actually created the project. So if I go to products, this is actually in the schema of our back end. I mean, look at this. So it created and actually filled everything out for us. So we could see all the information is actually in here with the amount of upvotes. So this is such an amazing and fast way to build products. Same thing with comments. If I go to comments, look at this. These are all real comments that Base44 created for us so we could actually have a functioning preview that actually lives correctly with the backend connected. This would take you hours to do the other way. If you had to set up super base, it would just be empty basically. And you can ask for placeholders and I've done this many times before and other builds that I've done on my channel, but nothing like this. So very impressed by that. So let me go see if I can submit. Oh, I could. Okay. So let's try Zello. Let's, let's submit our hotel booking agent website tagline. So this is a uh, get the best hotel prices online description. Book directly with hotels using Zello. It's actually a real business. If you guys do want to check it out, it's in the travel niche. Let's go. Uh, I need to make sure to add travel niche in there. So Marson. And then we got our website. So this will be Zello.com. Tag. So let's do travel. Let's do hotels. Booking. This is one prompt. This is freaking crazy. No way, if this logo works, I'm gonna be actually shocked. Logo. No way, okay. All right, launch project. Please enter URL, so I need to put the www, so that's fine. We'll get rid of that later. These are all little things that we can tweak later. 
All right, let's launch project. Let's see where it is. New. No way. So this whole this whole thing works already. Hold on, let's go take a look at product. There it is down here, Zello. What? This was with one freaking prompt. Oh yeah, this is even better than I expected. Sick. Okay. So let's go to profile. So what I don't see, what's this, all the sign out. So I need to fix the sign out button. So here's the great thing too. Let me show you a couple of the features. So right now down here, there's a visual editor. So if I click on that, I could actually just click on this button and then say edit element, or I could just tell it what I want it to do. So check this out. Say make, make the font black when the button is white. Bang. So now you can actually focus in on all those micro changes. This is the biggest problem with vibe coding when you're using tools and you're like, oh, I just want to make this button bigger or smaller or change the color of it. You have to go in with the editor and it gets confused. It hallucinates and breaks your whole code. So now you can literally just focus in on exactly what element you want to work on specifically. And it's going to make that change for us, as you'll see here in a second. And then we'll be good to go. And just like that, our sign out button now is correctly there. So now we just turn off the editor. Oh, it's still thinking, but you can see it already fixed it. There it is. It's done. So now we're going to turn off our visual editor and you can use this for anything. Like if I go in and click visual editor and I select, let's say this modal right here, uh, let's give it a better example. Let me actually go in and pick this navigation and then you can just change the color background color. You could make it black. And then it's going to make that whole thing black. So you can see all those little micro changes. Now you can do it very quickly. And also when you do it this way on your own, you don't use credits. So we know how much it can cost when you're using these vibe coding tools. So very powerful tool. But let me, uh, let me show you some more stuff that we can do. So one great thing that Base44 now does is they give you suggestions. So it's all context based. So whatever you're building, Base44 is going to start making suggestions. So look what it says. Add in-app search. Fantastic feature. Boom. Implement a robust search function across all products. The search should allow users to find products by name, tagline, description. Perfect addition to our product. And the fact that it's suggesting, it's probably going to know exactly how to build this without any mistakes. And I don't know if you noticed this, but I've had zero errors. I mean, this video is pretty much in real time and there's been zero mistakes. We built out a full freaking back end. Right there it is. We now have a search feature. You can see up here, search products. So let's try task flow. Of course, it's going to work. There it is already. Look at that. We got most upvotes, all categories. Man, this is fucking. Oh, this, this is really good. <laughs> and just like that, we've built out a full platform. Here is the original product hunt. It's obviously very different. We went a little more TikTok vibes, but just to show you the power of what we were able to build in about 15 minutes from start to finish, front end, back end, we have all the login off. We have our dashboard with our real data actually connected to our schema inside of our um back end and also all we need to do now is connect our domain and uh, let's do a security check actually i'm actually i haven't tried this yet so let's try this really quick see what that does but you guys could see if you're into vibe coding if you really want to build out something large scale with all of these different features not just a glorified front end that looks nice but you're completely clueless on how to run it yeah so check this out so it actually does all of our rls re uh, recommendations so we can just apply these fixes and it's going to add that all in there. Fantastic. Again, great platform. You guys go check it out. It's called Base44. All the links I have below. And of course, if you guys do try it, you buy me a cup of coffee, which I'm always super grateful for. And if you guys are interested in joining a community of actual builders who are launching product every single day, we have weekly calls. We do giveaways. We're going to be doing a hackathon soon. Definitely come and hang. And like I said, in here, you're going to be able to learn in 21 days ideation, vibe coding, and launching a product. And we do all of the marketing and I show you everything step by step. We also have a business in a box travel business that you can set up. And also we just launched our React Native mobile development. So a lot of fun stuff happening and it'll be fun to have you in there. But uh, thanks for watching the video and I will see you in the next one.